how are you feeling ahead of your fight tomorrow or Saturday? I feel good, man. I'm, just, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get the rest of this weight off so I can eat Friday, and I'll be, I'll be fine after that. Feeling good to be fighting in the UK? Oh, yeah, man. It's cool, man. I always wanted to come to England, and now that I'm here, it's, it's actually nice to be here. Um, you know, back in March, I went to Paris, and I went to uh, Geneva, Switzerland for the first time, and it was cool, but so far, I like England. I probably like England better than I, the other two places, you know. People here are really nice, and they can understand me, and I can understand them, so it makes it easier. <laughs> so do you see you will have a good few events in Europe next year? Does that mean you're going to be um, putting your name forward to them? Um, I mean, I fight wherever they tell me to fight, you know what I mean? It doesn't... I mean, I, I love fighting in Vegas probably mostly. That's probably my favorite place to fight because it's a little... Everything's so convenient, you know, and you don't have to leave the hotel. But um, to be able to fight here, I, I would love to come back to Manchester again and fight again here, uh, uh, maybe London next time. Wherever they come back to the UK, I definitely want to come back. You know what I mean? I, I definitely want to get experience more of, of Europe, but more Northern Europe. Are you fighting Ross? Um, are you fighting Ross Pearson? What are your thoughts on him as, a, as an opponent? Um, you know, like I told the other guys, he's actually one of my favorite fighters to watch. And you know, I've watched his, I've watched his career since he's been in the UFC. He was actually my pick for Ultimate Fighter to win. I picked him to win. Um, you know, he, he's a talented kid and he's going to come to bang, you know what I mean? And uh, I think right now I'm probably his biggest test in his career standing in front of him. And um, like, you have over 50 fights now. Like, how do you, how do you keep motivated? Because I, like I like to fight. Who, who doesn't? I mean, that's all the motivation I need. And then I get to see all these big paychecks I get. So that's, that's all the motivation I need. It's better than working a nine to five, I'll tell you that. But, um, now, nah, I mean, I motivate myself because I love to fight. I love to compete. You know, this was my childhood dream. This is something I picked as a kid in elementary school. I said, I want to be a UFC fighter. And to become a UFC fighter at the age of 22, it was a dream come true. And it came a lot sooner than I thought it would come. So I'm living my dream, man. Not many people can say that. Hey, you have a very exciting fighting style, but sometimes that comes back and it hurts you a little. Um, well, well, it's only hurting me against jiu-jitsu guys. Ross Pearson, he ain't submitting me, that's for sure. You know what I mean? So if I had to put my money on him getting me in a submission, i bet my whole house. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've had trouble with certain guys, but it's been submission guys. But I'm training with American Top Team now down in South Florida, and I think I have everything covered to win this fight. So you know really about Ross's hands now? No. Hell no. No, Ross better be worrying about my hands, man. I, 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 I put it like this. I'm the hardest hitting 55er at 155. Like, I mean, I've watched him bang with guys. I've watched him connect on good shots and not even drop people. Everybody I hit, I drop. Everybody I hit, I fuck them up. That's how I fight. So him being a harder hitter than me, I don't think that's going to be possible. But you got to be able to hit the target before you can, before you can knock it down. You, know I mean? you and Ross seem very friendly there when you were squaring yeah. off with yeah, he's a buddy of mine. He's a buddy. I mean, I'm, I mean, it's a sport. You know, what I mean, like, I'm still gotta go in there and do my job. I'm not coming. I'm not coming all the way to England to get my ass whipped. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to have to fly all the way back home, depressed. You know what I mean? And then expecting to get off the plane and all my friends waiting for me. Like, oh man, what happened? And you know, it's easier to say, great fight, man, you look good, but it's harder to say. Man, so what happened? Then you got to explain to everybody a different scenario of what went wrong, and I don't want that. So I didn't come all the way to Manchester to get my ass whipped. Thanks very much, Melvin. Thank you.